What's up everybody, Dr. Scott here. We're gonna talk this week about how to lower your cholesterol naturally. A lot of people don't understand what cholesterol is and you know they buy into the whole process of taking medications to do that, which is very unnatural to the body. We're gonna talk about how to naturally do that and what are some of the reasons why you don't wanna get into a situation where you're, where you're taking uh, statin drugs or cholesterol lowering drugs to lower your cholesterol. Well, that's really bad business all around. So number one, what is cholesterol? When we look at cholesterol, doctors look at cholesterol, look at a cholesterol level, uh, it lowers the cholesterol in your body, in your bloodstream uh, that's floating around and attaching to the arterial walls, uh, clogging them up basically. And so that's the premise that the more cholesterol we put in our body, the more clogged our arteries are going to be. But that's not true because our body, a lot of it is made up of cholesterol, 25% of our brain, our nerve system is made up of cholesterol. You need cholesterol to repair damage in the body. Your liver actually produces cholesterol so that it's allowed to go out to areas where there may be uh, scar tissue or damage to the uh, tissue in the body to repair it, just like it would repair the brain and those sorts of things. It also helps the heart function uh, better as well. Uh, so when you take these statin lowering drugs, it actually can cause damage to the brain tissue, the nerve tissue, the heart, uh, as well as disrupt normal hormone function because your hormones have a cholesterol component and if you lower that, then your hormones don't work as well. So you have a whole host of things going on here. So what we really want to look at is the balance of cholesterol, the HDLs versus the LDLs. That's what, that's what gets out of balance. We get a, a diet much higher in omega-6 fatty acids, a lot of processed foods and that sort of thing, which is dominant in the U.S. and the Western society, and it causes an imbalance. So you get a very high LDL, low-density lipoproteins, versus the high-density. So you want, you want to have a very high ratio of high-density versus low-density. Uh, but really, the, the culprit is triglycerides. Triglycerides floating in the blood. So high amounts of these abnormal fats floating in the blood. We want to get rid of that. Uh, and help the body function at a higher level. So it really all comes down to inflammation at the cellular level. If you have inflammation, the body's in this chronic state of inflammatory processes which causes damage, uh, nicks if you will, to tissue in the body like the arteries and your body says, okay, we gotta go out and put cholesterol there. And over time, that chronic inflammation causes this buildup or placking in the arteries. So it's really not the cholesterol in and of itself. So some of the things we wanna do to help lower cholesterol naturally is you want to eat a, uh, a diet very high in vegetables, a lot of green leafy vegetables, colorful vegetables, you know, organic if possible. It's not 100% necessary, but uh, that is a better, uh, a better alternative. So a lot of vegetables, uh, a lot of nuts and seeds, chia seeds, flax seeds are great. Uh, extra virgin olive oil is another way. Uh, uh, we go with also coconut oil, extra virgin coconut oil, uh, medium chain triglycerides, which is derivative of coconut oil as well, is a very good way. Uh, avocados, uh, wild caught salmon, uh, not the farm raised, but the wild has to be wild caught, and any wild caught fish, most of those are good for helping to lower and balance cholesterol. Uh, healthy meats, so organic grass fed beef, no antibiotics, no growth hormones, those are actually a good way to uh, lower cholesterol is to have these healthy fats and proteins that your body is able to use and knows exactly what to do with. And this runs counter to a lot of uh, the traditional way of thinking that, oh wow, if we eat high meat diets, it's going to uh, increase clogging in our arteries. That's absolutely not true. Uh, Gluten-free, whole grains, ancient grains, sprouted grains is what we want here. Green tea, beans and legumes, turmeric is a good one. Uh, as well as far as an herb, garlic, uh, yams, sweet potatoes, persimmons, okra, just to name a few here. Um, now, in regards to the bad things we want to get out here, is we want to get rid of the refined carbohydrates, uh, anything with sugars in it, uh, packaged foods, uh, processed meats, uh, cheeses, dairy, those sorts of things are going to, going to be counter to having healthy cholesterol levels. Uh, we want to lose weight in a healthy way. One of the best ways to do that is lower inflammation. That will help balance your hormones. That will help raise your metabolism so you lose weight naturally. Uh, smoking is another one that can cause that. Alcohol can cause uh, high cholesterol. Um, we want to move. 
So our bodies are designed to move. So we don't want to do traditional exercise, which is long bouts of aerobic exercise. We want to do really high intensity, short duration. It's called high intensity interval training, HIT, H-I-T. Uh, is a good way. So that's a, a simple thing. You can do 10 minutes a day, four or five days a week, uh, and get really fit just doing that, like uh, a nice uh, two to five minute warm up, and then 20 seconds at a very high intensity, like on a bike or a Stairmaster or a treadmill, uh, something like that. Uh, swimming, and then very high intensity for 20 seconds, and you rest for 20 seconds. You do that three times, and then you rest for two minutes, and you do that again for uh, two more sets of intervals there. So really, it's about three minutes of work, four to five days a week. Uh, and you can use this you know, in the weight room, or like I said, uh, the other ways of doing that. Very good way, you have to move. These are very good ways to lower uh, and improve the balance of uh, cholesterol. Uh, so try cholesterol lowering sub, uh, supplements, so niacin, red yeast rice, uh, lemongrass essential oils, things like that. Some of the best supplements we have here are several things from uh, Designs for Health. In other words, liver MD. We talked about liver uh, produces cholesterol and helps keep the cholesterol balanced. So this is a good one to detoxify the liver. Uh, so it actually helps the liver deliver good, healthy cholesterol. Another one is CardioVin. This helps with your CoQ10 balance, which is disrupted, especially if you've been taking statin drugs. Uh, so this uh, CardioVin is really good to help balance the CoQ10. Uh, the other one is turmeric. Premier turmeric is a good one that helps balance cholesterol. And then uh, the uh, molecular hydrogen here. Uh, this was just a tab drop in the water to help super alkalize the water. It helps decrease inflammation. It helps revive the mitochondria at the cellular level, which will help, again, with the balance of cholesterol. So I hope some of these tips help you. Uh, I know you're going to be doing a lot of things over the holidays you don't necessarily want to do in regards to your eating and get off track, but try some of these tips uh, and try to integrate those uh, right now, not after the first of the year. And then everybody have a Merry Christmas, and we'll see you next year.